Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a project called Toggle, which turns something on if it's off and off if it's on. The project is to introduce you to some of the logic behind the if-then-else statement. So I'm going to create a new project, naming it Toggle. Okay. When the component designer comes up, what I'm going to do is put a button on the canvas over here. Just because this is the way I like to work, I'm going to uh, change the name of the screen, sorry, the title on the screen, to Toggle. And I'm going to put some images on the button so we can see the change from on to off. So. I'm going to use an image which will look like uh, there's an off and here's an on. There you go. On. Two images. All right. Next, we're going to need to do some logical type stuff. Now, I could add an image onto the button now, but I'm not going to. You'll see how I do that when I look on the block editor. So here's our block editor. And what I want to do in my blocks is say that when the screen one appears, I want to initialize it. What I want to do is I want the uh, image on that button grab the wrong thing. The image on the button to be equal to, oh my goodness, I forgot the name of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put text here and because my memory is really bad, I'm going to select this, copy and paste so that's what's going to happen with the uh, screen when it first starts. It's going to have this. When I click on the buttons, so in my blocks there's a button, and when the button is clicked, what I want to do is I want to change the image from button off to button on simple enough. Now what this will do obviously is change the image from whatever it was to the on image. But that's all we'll do. We want to keep going back and forth between the on and the off. Let me just demonstrate this. I believe I have a emulator handy and I'm going to connect to it go. Okay, so there's the emulator. I'm going to click on this button and hey, it works. But if I click, keep clicking on the button, the only thing that's going to happen is this. It's going to change the image to the image that's already on there. We need some logic. What's going to happen is we want to turn it, we have to keep track of the state of the button. Is it on or off? And for that, we're going to need something called a variable. So go to built-in, in definitions, there's a variable. And I'll call this the variable button on. And I'm going to give it a value of false because when we start the button is off. It's not on. What I'm going to do then is say, hmm, I want to turn, I want to use this image if the button is off, I want to turn it on, and if the button is on, I want to turn it off. Here's how we do something like that. In the built-in, we look at the lot, oh, sorry, controls, and we have it in if then else statement. 
if else. We say, gee, if the button is off, we want to turn it on. And if it's on, we want to turn it off. All right? So if the button is off, turn it on. If it's on, turn it off. So we have to have some sort of test or some way of checking. And the way we do that is pretty simple. The on the logic, we can say that if the value of button on is equal to false, turn this on. Otherwise, turn it off. Now, there's a logic problem here. And I'll explain that in just a second. So this will work, but it will only work once. Let me show you. Going back to the... I'm going to reconnect to the device. Okay, here it is. I click here. And at this point, I've changed the button. It doesn't look like anything's different. But remember, the button on is false and it's remained false so if I click again it says button on oh that's false therefore turn it on what I need to do is change the value of button on and I'm going to do that right now watch I'm going to say that if button on was false I'm now going to change it to true. So if the button on is false, OK, put the true icon up and say that's true by doing this. To show you that this is actually a changed image, we've actually changed something, what I'm going to do is on the button, I'm going to have some new text, and I'll make that, oh, let's say 40. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. I'm going to uh, connect to the device again. Okay, there's the emulator, and I click, and I click, and I click. So you can see it's working. I'm going to show you how you can actually look at these things as the code changes. In the blocks editor, what I can do is I can right click and choose watch. And it shows me the value is true. So, if I look at the emulator, true means that we have the on button. I'm going to click again, and what happens is the value is now false. Because what's happened is, if it's false, this happens, it changes the image. This happens, it changes the value of button on to, to true, and that will be reflected up here. So, at this point, button on is false. You can see that's that's correct. When I click this, what's going to happen is it's going to say, oh, look, button on is false. Change the icon, the, the, the image on the button to this. Set button on to be true. So this value should change when I click this. Cool. Now, what's happened is button on has a value of true so that the next time I click the button it's going to say let's see button on is a false no it isn't so it will skip this code and go to this code which means it will change the image on the button to the off image and will set the value of the button on variable to false so you should see that 
This will change to false, and this will change to the off image. That's it. On off. Pretty simple, but you have no idea what some students will do to get something like this working.